Welcome back to the good old Southern IA. You got a continuous problem happening here. Well, it's not really a continuous problem. It's the second time problem. The hay that's across the road is extremely thick. I had absolutely no trouble mowing this one. First stuff in front of my plot or the corn plot here. That was slow, but it went. But now I've nosed into that hay across the road twice and I've made it about seven feet each time before I completely and utterly slugged this thing. Yeah, I cut it last night and I turned it on to see if it'd clear it and it did not clear it. Well, it was like, it's a go home time. Yeah, I think we might go get the 946. It needs its air conditioning worked on anyways. I'm the rest of this with that. So later on in the book today, I need to look up the torque specs for these slip clutches. I want to say it's probably as tight as it's supposed to be. I wonder if the clutches are going bad in it. And then on top of that, we're going to actually change the blades over and make sure it's just got fresh blades. The blades are in pretty good shape, so I don't think that's the issue. To avoid, I guess, kind of avoid working on the slip clutch today. Besides, I don't even know if that's really the problem. I'm going to grab the 4440 and the 946 and go cut down that three acres. Plus we had to get the 4440 back here. See if you can tell by the windows open. The blower fan on the air conditioning went out. So of course, what am I doing? I'm in here on a hot day without air conditioning. Try to remember this. We're on. <laughs> Is that? It's, yeah. it's in line with those trees and it's in line with that tree. Because you know how to use this thing? You spin it, right? Spin it, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. Your dad got his head out. Beans now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. We got done mowing here. We got like two acres here, like three acres over there. I think that back hole knoll is about three acres and then two acres on the back side. Somewhere around 10 acres of hay mowed down all together. We're gonna probably small square bale that. It's grass hay, it'll make decent grass hay. And everybody at some point in time needs grass hay. The next project at hand is getting the flagpole back up, which she's laying right here. That was in the roundabout that is yet to be concreted. Don't worry, I think we might work on putting in some of the rebar today too as well. But at one point in time, the string broke on the flagpole and I couldn't get the string back through the top eyelet without having to do something really dangerous. I was already standing on top of a loader that was on top of a ladder and I was like on the top rung of that ladder and I still couldn't get the string to make it through this islet right here. We're gonna shorten the flagpole a little bit, that way uh, if it breaks again, I can actually get it back up there and then have a flag. Along with obviously the flagpole can't be there, so we're relocating the flagpole to here. I've gotta scoot into town real quick. I gotta get a bag of satcrete, a new string, and see if they got any flags on them or not. You guys can hang out with Dylan and uh, dig that hole.
One, two, three. That'll work. Yep, that'll work. So while the paint's drying, we decided to come get the Kubota. Because we're going to want that to move a rock. Plus, if we can actually get the bale and some small square bales, we're going to want it to stack the small square bales in the hay shed. So the next thing we got to go grab is actually a hay rake. And the plus button goes up to eighth gear. All right. Take it easy until you get used to it. You got to turn wide. Don't get into the hitch. Make sure those wheels don't start dragging on the ground. So Andrew got all the hay rake or the hay that 
I mowed yesterday and not in today's video raked up so it's going to be ready to possibly bail tomorrow should bail tomorrow some of it go today but we're not going to do that because some of it still got some wet spots so we're in not a hurry so we'll just bail it tomorrow however one of the finishing tasks that we got to do here today is we got to get the hay shed ready to go uh, there's usually like this little bit of loose hay left at the end of the year we'll just want to make sure we get it cleaned up make sure we got two rows of pallets in here ready to go ready to receive hay for when we bail hay tomorrow. We'll get the hay put up, put it in here, and we'll have hay back in the hay shed. Well guys, imagine that. I actually forgot to close out yesterday's video, so I'm closing it out and tomorrow, which is the next video, and we got the cyclo hooked up. You guys will just have to tune in to the next one for that. Thank you guys, of course, for hanging out with us down here in the Gold Southern IA. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on the way out. We'll see you in the next one.